the Fitbit OS 3.0. Let's look at how Fitbit listens to its customers. Hi, I'm Lionel, this is Tecloto. First of all, let's install the update. Open the Fitbit app on your phone and you'll see the download icon on the top right hand corner of the Fitbit dashboard. Click on this and you'll see a rectangular bar that goes across the screen that says update tracker. Click on that and it'll take you to the page where you can update your tracker. Once you start updating, the phone will start to connect to your Fitbit. If the Wi-Fi is already set up on your Fitbit, it'll connect automatically. If it isn't set up, it'll ask you to go through the process. Make sure that your phone is close to the Wi-Fi router and also close to your tracker. Once the tracker is connected to the Wi-Fi, it will start to download onto your Fitbit app. You'll see the grey Fitbit icon on your Fitbit and the download bar will show you the progress. Once it's fully downloaded, it'll start installing and you'll see that the screen of the Fitbit is bright green. After the update is complete, the Fitbit will go blank for a few seconds. Then you'll see your screen as normal. Now if we look through the controls, nothing much has changed. You still slide down to see your notifications and you press and hold the button on the left hand side to see your quick settings and music controls. If you look through the app, you can see that the icons haven't changed. It's still the same design and the apps are still the same. Now let's look at the main changes. The Today app. As usual, you can still see your steps. You can see your progress and your quick stats throughout the day. So that includes your calories and amount of activity that you've had in a day. But now you can see your average steps across the week. You'll still be able to see the stats for your heart rate but the good thing now is that you can see some extra things like information about how you slept so you can see all the little details for the time awake the REM sleep light sleep and deep sleep and it also gives you the information about how you've slept throughout the week you can also track your weight directly from the watch and it tells you based on the goal that you set on the phone how many kgs you have before you hit your goal Another good thing is if you're a person who likes to collect the badges, it gives you information about the three badges that you can collect. And you can see all the information about your daily exercise throughout the week. The good thing now is that you can choose to have seven different types of stats. So you can have your core stats and we've already gone through most of them, but the extra stats that you can also include is food and water. When you've selected new stats, the Fitbit will pause for a second, it'll update and take you back to the top. You can scroll down again and look at all the new things that you can add. You can log water directly from the Fitbit and then it'll show you how much water you've had throughout the day. But what you can't do is log food directly from the Fitbit. You can still log the food on your phone on a third party app that links to your Fitbit. One of the apps that have been added is the Couch to 5K Trainer. I think this looks to be a very useful app. If you guys want me to do a review on it, let me know. I'll test it out and do it over a period of time. So to conclude, what we can really appreciate about this update is that Fitbit has listened to its customers. They've made it so that you can do a lot more on your tracker and not have to rely on your mobile phone. I think they're trying to gain independence from Apple phones and Android phones. It's an interesting future for Fitbit. I think they still have a very long way to go before they can call any of their devices a smartwatch, but these are definitely smart fitness trackers. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful or have any questions, leave a comment below and remember to subscribe to TechLoto for more Fitbit reviews and walkthroughs.